Didn't do enough to stop the ice from collecting, and drivers were going too fast. That information, according to a new report on that deadly I-35 pileup in Fort Worth a couple of years ago. Who could forget the images? It was awful. February 2021, National Transportation Safety Board did release its final report on the incident today. Jason Allen breaks it all down. 44 hours before the first car slid out of control on I-35W, road crews had put down brine to stop ice from forming. But a new federal report found crews should have done more the morning of the crash. It ended with 130 vehicles involved and six people killed. The NTSB's final report found that while ice collecting clearly caused the crash, deficient de-icing by North Terran Express Mobility Partners was a contributing factor. It also found training was insufficient, with some employees not sure they knew how to spot check roads. And drivers were going too fast in the express lanes where the limit is 75. Multiple lawsuits have been filed in the two years since the crash, and Intemp defended the company's actions. We are disappointed and strongly disagree with certain of its conclusions, they told CBS Texas in a statement. We pre-treated the corridor well within the prescribed treatment window and during the storm, and our crews monitored the entire length of the I-35W corridor, including elevated areas. The NTSB recommended changes, including speed limit signs on the highway that can change based on conditions, and also a statewide system of sensors on the highway that can measure things like temperature and road moisture and humidity. TxDOT uses those right now in places like Houston and Lubbock and San Antonio. But the report says in the Fort Worth district, TxDOT did not operate or maintain any of those sensors. Intemp has installed 18 of them since the crash, updated its training, and equipped maintenance vehicles with thermometers to measure road temperatures in real time. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS News, Texas.